If we go to Chi Chi's character reference list and select Grandpa Gohan, Chi Chi will say the following. This is a wonderful man who took Goku in and raised him. I sure would like to have met him. Technically, she already met him in Dragon Ball. Well, at least if we're going by the anime filler, since she never actually met him in the manga. In Tenkaichi 3, there are a lot of alternate costumes, ranging from basic palette swaps to some of the most unique costumes from the Dragon Ball universe. My personal favorite being Goku's Yard Rat outfit. However, the one we'll be focusing on is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The Goku nor Vegeta. I am the one that will defeat you! Look familiar? Could this be a possible reference to the famous Super Saiyan 5 transformation from Dragon Ball AF? Dragon Ball AF was really popular during this period, so it wouldn't surprise me. Now, this could be just a basic reference, or maybe the devs were testing something out. Something that will come in the future. Speaking of things to come, it looks like they've had the idea for a Broly vs Gogeta fight for a very long time. Way back in 2004, in Budokai 3's animated intro, we can see the devs toying around with the idea of a Broly vs Gogeta fight. And three years later, in Tenkaichi 3, they toy with this idea once again. As we already know, they finally made that idea a reality in 2018 with Dragon Ball Super Broly. Who knows? Maybe we can find some clues for the next Dragon Ball movie in these older games. In Budokai 3, there's this really strange easter egg. The best way to activate it is go into training mode. You can select any character. I chose Goku. You can select any character you want. Now, once the stage is loaded, all you have to do is wait for 13 minutes. Once the 13 minute mark goes by, Goku will turn his head and just stare at you. Why is he staring like that? We don't know. Maybe just wants you to pick up the controller and play the damn game. <laughs> Going back to Tenkaichi 3, if we go to the dual mode, which is hosted by Nappa and Vegeta, if we stay there for a little while without selecting anything, a pretty cool Easter egg will activate. Hey, uh, think if I went Super Saiyan, my goatee would grow? Oh god damn it, Nappa! There's actually a lot of fan art featuring Nappa going Super Saiyan. Fun little easter egg by the devs. In Tenkaichi 3, there are a lot of strange occurrences when it comes to voice acting. For example, when you punch Perfect Cell, he will use his imperfect voice. You've come here to die. I'll absorb you next. Does it make sense for a Perfect Cell to use his imperfect voice? This is hardly even a warm-up. Well, this is due to the original Japanese voice for Cell only having one voice, unlike its English counterpart. Same thing can be seen with GT Goku. While transforming into Super Saiyan 4 during his fight with Nuva Shenron, Goku will use his kid voice. Then immediately switch back to his adult voice. Yeah, I am. And now, not even the heat of the sun can hurt me. Android 18's Super Attack features her using purple Destructo Discs. <laughs> Now, the weird thing is, if we jump and hold the key button, she will throw a yellow Destructo disc, similar to Krillin and Goku. Yeah! Probably just a simple oversight by the devs. Don't overdo it. Frieza Saga Goku has a unique version of the Spirit Bomb. It's smaller than the one he uses against Kid Buu. But it's much more deadly if used correctly. All we need to do is gather the energy three times. And now, once we got that done, let's throw it at Frieza and see what happens. Go! Yep, if you manage to gather energy for the Spirit Bomb three times, the Spirit Bomb will become an instant kill. Giant characters such as Great Apes and Broly have armor protection, meaning if we punch them, they don't really react to our punches. Scum. Although, we are able to break that armor by landing at least 5 to 6 consecutive punches. Now, once we actually break that armor, we need to revert back to our base form. We have successfully activated one of the most game-breaking glitches. The character we got his armor broken will be stuck in an endless loop without having the ability to fight back. This essentially gives us a free win. I won't do what my dad did. A bit game-breaking if you ask me. There is a strange glitch with Baby Vegeta. If we select Super Baby 2 in his ultimate move, Final Flash, Baby Vegeta will say... <laughs> instead of, well, 
Final Flash. The funny thing is, in the Japanese version of Dragon Ball GT, Baby Vegeta can also be heard saying Big Bang Attack while performing the Final Flash. <laughs> I'm really confused right now. Is this a game error or a dubbing error? <laughs> we can actually see the inside of Frieza's spaceship. The easiest way to do so being the Dolphin emulator. By going to free cam mode, we can actually go inside Frieza's spaceship and see what's inside. To my surprise, the interior seems to be fully modeled, which is odd since we would never be able to go inside during normal gameplay. It's really interesting how they went the extra mile to get these interiors, even though we as players wouldn't be able to see what's inside. Later, mister. That's all for this one. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.